Hi! Happy Thanksgiving to any American viewers out there. Today has been weird. I have Thanksgiving clips from our party on Saturday that I'll upload soon. But today has been weird. Um, <laughs> it, it started this morning when I first woke up. Um, I get up and I take my computer into the kitchen with me every morning. I like to listen to some YouTube clips about like recent politics because recently I've actually gotten into, a po into politics which is bizarre. I know, it's weird. That's not the weird part. <laughs> Though it is weird. Um, so it, when I got up all of a sudden my mom called me on Skype and I was like, she can't be serious. There's no way. I'm not answering this, no way. But I did. I answered it. Um, and uh, I just said straight up, like, I don't want to do this right now. I don't want to talk right now. I'm too tired. And um, she said the most terrifying thing that anyone can ever say. And that is, everyone's alive, but... And I was like, what? I thought she just wanted to call and wish me Happy Thanksgiving. So I was just like, you know, at that point, what can you do? What can you do but just stand there with your mouth hanging open, just like, what? And um, then she broke the news to me that my younger brother, Danny, was in a head-on collision uh, driving. And, uh, it resulted in broken leg, broken wrist, broken thumb. Um, but he's okay. He's okay. You know, he's obviously injured, but he's okay. He's going to be okay. He's going to get better and be okay. I talked to him. He was laughing, making jokes. But it was just kind of this, like, terrifying moment. And it just kind of... It stuck with me all day, of course, because not only is it like, what a thing to wake up to, right? But also because it was like, you can't help but just start thinking, what if, what if, what if, what if? And it was just terrifying. What if, what if, what if? Like, all of the what ifs that ever existed go through your mind over the course of this day. And I'm at work and I'm like, supposed to be teaching people things, and I was just like, what if? <laughs> like, oh, geez. You know, you can't help but think about, like, you know, life would be so different if just, it was a little, if just something happened, if, if the worst thing imaginable happened, that I, I won't even say it, because it's so terrible. If that happened, then, like, what would I do? I, I just, that was so overwhelming for me. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to handle it. It wouldn't be, and then, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what the rest of my life would look like, you know? It's just this kind of stuff. Um, you know, obviously big car accidents or big accidents in general or deaths or births or weddings or holidays. It just kind of, it makes it difficult to be far away. It does. I mean, it's obviously not about me, but I'm just saying, if you're someone who's thinking about moving far away or doing whatever, like, it's moments like this that make it really, really hard. Um, I'm very happy that he's okay, and he's going to be okay, but it's still, it's still something you want to be there for, you know, obviously. Not just to be there with him, but to be there with the rest of the family, too. Um, it's... <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This isn't supposed to be a lesson or anything. I didn't really have a plan when I turned the camera on, but I just wanted to... Like, the things that have been going through my head all day have been so difficult, you know? It's just hard. <laughs> and it was so funny, too, because the thing he said to me when I talked to him, he was like... <laughs> 
<laughs> he said three things went through my head. <laughs> One, are the are the people in the other car okay? Two, I'm going to lose my job. Because <laughs> he was obviously on the job. He was He's a delivery guy, so he, he was obviously delivering something. And um, obviously he didn't get back to work on time. <laughs> and three, Megan's going to kill me because he was in my car at the time. <laughs> my car is totally totaled. <laughs> but like, I don't care. I really... I thought I would care, cause like when I when I found out that he's been driving my car, um, cause he's only had his license for a couple months at this point. <laughs> when I found out that he was driving my car, I was kind of like, ugh, if he gets a dent in that thing, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> and then you know this happens obviously, and I was just like, wow, I just so don't even care about my car, like, not even for a fleeting second, I didn't care. It's just, it, it's like. Oh god, it's, I again, I, I have not, no intent with this video, but just, uh, I do wish I could be back, I mean, because not only is today Thanksgiving, so, but, you know, obviously this, this big thing has happened, so it's just, uh, it's, it's crazy, you know, it's, it's not only, uh, like, a, a big family time, but, you know, you, you want to be there for your family when, when they're in trouble, too, you know. So, makes you think about things, is all. On that note, recently, I did just sign on for another year in Japan. I signed on, I made the promise that I would stay. I haven't signed an official contract, but I've, I've made a promise that I'm going to stay for another year. And, um, it's, you know... I plan on making this announcement as more of like a yay type of thing, but it, it's, I feel like it, it should be addressed. I am staying another year, and I'm excited for it, I'm glad. The fact that my brother is in a car accident doesn't make me want to, like, go home forever. I wish I could be there with him, but I'm happy here too. That's what makes, that's what makes it even harder, because I want to be here, but I want to be there too, and it's, it's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> Oh, anyway, I don't know how long I've been talking. Thanks for listening, if you stay to the end. It's, uh, it's something you have to talk about with people. Because I don't know the word for head-on collision in Japanese. <laughs> so, thanks for listening. Bye.